What's up everybody? Today, the video is gonna be about the reason why emotional men are very, very dangerous. Okay, so it's like this. Men are filled with testosterone, correct? Testosterone is that vigor, it's that, that err, right? So now imagine you have that vigor in someone who's acting out in their emotions, not logic, emotions. That's dangerous. Imagine you went to court and the judge didn't rule based off of facts. He ruled off of how he felt. That's dangerous, right? Same thing with a man. A man not being in his logical sense, but acting out in his emotional sense is dangerous. Because it's almost like you have this train that's not going according to plan. This train or going across according to schedule, this train is going where it wants to go. That's a recipe for disaster. See, I look at it like this. A man who doesn't have control of his emotions and his feelings is like a soda bottle that's been shaken, waiting to erupt once opened. So how do we combat this? How do we fix this? The way we combat this and fix this is we need to stop spreading. Number one, we need to stop spreading the false narrative that men are not allowed to have emotions. Men are not allowed to have feelings. You know, we have to stop that false narrative, number one. Like I said, emotions and feelings should not be a man's predominant go-to. That shouldn't be number one. Everybody has emotions and everybody has feelings. But men need to know how to regulate it. They need to know how to regulate them. We need to know how to check them. We need to know how to think in our logical and rational mind the reason why we're so emotional a lot of times is based off of society it's based off of because a lot of men are raised in single parent households with their mother their mother who is emotional and in her feelings not saying in her feelings sadly but that's where a lot of women come from is emotions and feelings that's where their rule is that rules them and it's not a bad thing or a good thing. That's just the way nature has made it in order for us to survive. That's why it takes two parents to raise a child because you need the logical from the father and you need the emotional from the mother. You know, it's a, it's a recipe. <laughs> you can't do it by yourself. It's a recipe. So we have to have positive outlets. We have to have positive role models. We have to have positive, you know, lectures or we have to know that, yes, men, it is okay to be emotional. Yes, it is okay to have feelings. But how do you work through those things? How do you, okay, you're feeling emotional about something. Or are you feeling triggered about something? How do you process that? We don't have process, ways to process things. The way we process it is zero to 100, that's it. And that zero to 100, that's it, is what's landing a lot of men in prison today. A lot of, It's landing a lot of men in jail today. It's landing a lot of men in horrible relationships today is because they don't have ways to process their emotions and their feelings like i said we're all human so we're all going to have emotions and feelings but when you take somebody who's full of testosterone that you know testosterone that vigor and you put it in somebody who's who's emotional it's not good it's like a, a 18 wheeler mac truck you know with a drunk driver, it's not gonna end well. So, the, 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 to wrap this all up, it's very important that we stop spreading the false narrative of men are not allowed to have emotions or feelings or even cry. But we have to establish and know that it is a time and a place for everything. And that men, you are the leaders. And if you would like to properly lead you cannot lead from an emotional standpoint. Like I said, if you go to court and the judge rules against you, not based off of the facts and the evidence, but based off of how that judge feels, you wouldn't feel right. It's the same thing, man. When you complete your actions or you 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 act upon something into today's society or outside, you have to come from logic you have to come from your thinking brain 
not your emotional brain. We have to train this up. It's like a skill. We have to train this up. We have to. People are depending on you, whether they say it or not. Women are depending on you. Your parents are depending on you. Society is depending on you. We just haven't been taught how important your role is as a man. But trust me, it is very important. So, that's all I had to say today. Emotional men are very dangerous. Like I said, it's not that we can't have emotions or you can't have feelings because we all have emotions and we all have feelings. When you have all that testosterone in your body, it's like a dynamite waiting to blow. It's not going to end well. Learn how to process. Learn how to have positive outlets. You know, my last metaphor, I love metaphors. It's like you have a soda bottle and the, and the inside the soda bottle is your anger, emotions, you know, just emotions. Take out anger, it's just emotions, all kinds of emotions. And you shake it up. And if you don't like have a way for those gases to release or you don't slowly open up that bottle, guess what's going to happen? And that's what happens. If that bottle didn't have a po uh, outlet to let those gases and carbon dioxide and all that escape, it's going to explode. And the same thing with men. When we don't have that positive outlet or we don't have an outlet or a way for us to, to process our emotions and our feelings, guess what's going to happen? Poof. Add more. If you want to add more, we can open up a discussion about this. Y'all be safe. Love and blessings.